Hi, my name is Brandon and I'm the geology guy. So what is geology? I like to say that everybody likes geology, but nobody cares about geology. I mean, who isn't fascinated by talking about volcanoes and earthquakes? But as soon as you start talking about crystal symmetry, sedimentary structures, or the difference between phaneritic and athenitic textures, people's eyes start to glaze over. Geology isn't just about rocks. It's about processes that shape the earth. Geology is detective work. It's trying to discover events and conditions of the past, very ancient past. But why? Why do we care so much about what happened millions of years ago on the earth? Consider these reasons. Everything we used is either mined or grown. Even things that are synthetically made are still coming from materials that are either mined or grown. Knowing about the past earth helps us predict where we can find the resources that we need. We need access to clean water. That's hydrogeology. We need fossil fuels. Regardless of their effect on the climate, for a while at least, we're still going to need them. That's sedimentology, stratigraphy, and structural geology. We need metals and rare earth elements. That's petrology and mineralogy. We also have natural hazards we need to protect ourselves from. Understanding those hazards is the study of volcanology, seismology, and geomorphology. Geologists use clues to piece together the events of the past. Think of a detective trying to solve a murder mystery. They weren't there to witness the crime, and the murder already took place in the past, but they can combine clues left at the scene, combined with their knowledge of other murders in the past, to formulate an idea about what happened. Geologists do the same thing. They use clues in the rock combined with their knowledge about the way the Earth works now to reconstruct the events and conditions that happened in the ancient past. Specifically, they use minerals and rocks and where those minerals and rocks are located relative to each other on and within the Earth. There's a geologist studying a cliff. Within the cliff, they find layers of sandstone, shale, and coal. Within each layer, there's unique characteristics and the specific order in which the layers appear tells the geologist something. So at the base of this cliff, let's say that there's several meters worth of nothing but shale. Above the shale, then there's layers going back and forth, alternating between sandstone and shale, where the sandstone layers are a few inches thick and the shale layers are about half that. Then that transitions into about a meter thick layer of sandstone that has wavy-like layers within its own layer. That eventually transitions into another layer of sandstone but instead of wavy looking layers within, it has these broad sweeping, almost like a paintbrush stroke across the sandstone in alternating directions. Above that, then there's a two meter thick layer of coal before getting back to the broad brush stroked swept layers of sandstone. Combining the types of rock, the structures within each layer, and the order in which those layers appear, the geologist immediately knows that he's looking at a section that once used to be a beach. Now let's say a couple miles down the, the cliff, there's another section of the same cliff that has the same layers, shale, sandstone, coal, but their configuration is different. The structures within the rock are different, and the order in which they appear is different. You might be looking at that and see that it's a river delta, the place where the river flows into the ocean, or did millions of years ago. So it's not just the rock masses themselves, it's the characteristic of each rock and where they're located relative to each other in the sequence. My goal is to help you see the world through a geologist's lenses. I don't want you to just learn how to identify rocks and minerals. I want you to understand the processes that made those rocks and minerals and why they're found where they're found and what that tells you about how the earth was at that location in the past and how it changed into what it is now. I want you to come to understand the processes that shaped and continue to shape the earth. And that is geology. If you're one of my students, welcome to class. And if you're not one of my students, welcome anyway. I'll be posting more videos from these lessons as we go along. So go ahead, like, subscribe, hit the little bell at the bottom so you get notifications when I post more videos. See you next time and remember, geology more than rocks.